Welcome back, Commander. Welcome, Core fans. We're back together once again with another classic game with Zeal. It's yours truly, along with... Dietrich 111, bringing out the torture. Oh, yeah, he's bringing out the torture. The man, the myth, the legend himself, once again, he's back here to put me through more hell like he wants to. Whoa! Boy, oh boy, you think the last three episodes before this, um, I've been through enough already, but no, this guy wants to really grind it into there. He's like literally pouring salt into my wounds constantly over and over again. But you know what? One day I'll get my revenge. One day well, I will. We had to find something to do because, you know, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider may have crashed, but I have a plethora of games behind me and around me to show you guys that I could definitely do more reviews on. But um, nonetheless, I guess we're really kicking the overdrive on NES because, you know, it's, I guess it's it's got to be done. But um, this 111 bastard over here, this, this, this guy who just loves to enjoy my pain and suffering constantly over and over on a daily basis, it seems like, put me through more stress and more hell over and over again. That's not true. I mean, you do a plethora of great games. You really do. But you've never really done a plethora of trash games. And I think this is a, one of those things where we just have to navigate through. I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong. I like a good game as much as anybody else. But, you know, the trash games are out there and... Well, we got another one for you. It's called Deadly Towers. I have no idea what that is. I have no it's, a, it's a maze type. A maze game? Yes, it's a maze type game. I hate mazes. I just rather blast my way through and just... I understand that, but you're going to find some really interesting obstacles in this... 2.5D wannabe game. Ringo! Wow. Well, before we hit on to that one, core fans, let's hit up with a commercial break. And here's your first one right now. Here we go, here we go. All is dead except snow. Cracking between the toes. You never guess what is all unstable. Where you stand, this is the aftermath of your plan. There's no way around it. You ain't gotta have a chance. Cause all I have to do is shimmy and shake. And now you're covered in avalanche. And now you'll be survived. You're buried alive. You'll be there in your demise. Knowing that you should have turned back when you had half a chance just to survive. Because I'm standing on the edge, staring down at you. Challenge me now, what you gonna do? Knowing that you don't understand That I'm just waiting to win your reign Tears of salvation All of invasion No way around it, you ain't gotta have a chance Cause all I have to do is shimmy and shake And now you're covered in avalanche Betray on loyalty, we'll take out the honors Take, take, take out the honors I want no pivas, just like the Aratonic You can take my powers, but I'll always be a solid Rousey in the portal, we all feel we're immortal I've been fighting far too long Against the evil all around me they will come and chase me again They're pushing me down There's no way to escape And we got tons more for that for you core fans when it comes towards more of our new um, tracks and whatnot And uh, you know, let's, let's, let's dive into this one a little bit right here Dietrich, you know, a little, little bit of uh, the new album Ignite the fire within, let its flame roar Free yourself from chaos chains forevermore Don't lose faith anymore Whole new album coming out this year, um, we're pushing towards it we just need a few more songs and we're good to go. So, yeah. 
once I get this uh, horn. My hand, and, and <laughs> Axel's end too. Yep, both of them. I mean, he made a request that he actually do a song with me, and that has been interesting. Yeah, it has been quite interesting. So, I mean, I guess that's underway. I mean, we still have time before this album's about to be published, and before my personal time frame, I want it to be, and I'll let you guys know on TCT Comics Core Pod and Unrestricted, so stay tuned on that one as well, which our host over here, oh, the amazing d tricks does his thing. Um, you know, I'll always be chiming in my, you know, two dimes and a nickel on that one. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, more than two cents. So anyway, core fans, let's, oh boy, I am oof, nervous about this one. So I have no idea what I'm about to jump into. Because this guy over here just keeps me tossing me into everything. It, it, I never know what I'm going into. So. Oh, I just tossed him into the volcano of lava with, you know, ice shoes. I'll be back. What a wonderful guy, you know? Jeez, what? How nice. Seriously. Don't worry. You come back up. Oh, wow. You're just so kind, Dietrich. I just keep coming back up. <laughs> Deadly Towers. This is an old, old story from the stone and copper ages when the live men and devils. But Dietrich, read all this. You guys can pause this. As the coming ages, <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to read all of this, it's just... It, it, <laughs> delete, Dietrich's delete. supposed to read all this. It's, it's his job. <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to do that. Dude, you're like the... Special guest. Well, how the hell am I supposed to know I was supposed to read all of that? You I just said it toss that to me. <laughs> I go through the torment. You you put me through hell. So there you go. Uh, don't worry. We're just talking through the credits anyways. It's like a Mystery Theater 3000 thing. We're just waiting for the credits to end. <laughs> Jesus. You remember wow. those old shows where you had to have all the credits run so that everybody got their freaking place in the movie in the beginning of it because they didn't have sense. writing credits at the end. <laughs> it made a lot of sense back in the day. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, don't worry, it's almost over. Password check. I'm supposed to do a password check? No, if you have the password, it gives you a password. Okay. What? Yo! It's gonna uh, light your ass on fire. Away <laughs> from me! What's going on here? You don't get multiple throws at once. You have to wait for it to dissipate. Horse shit! Okay. Ah! Oops. Did I die? Yeah, you dropped off the edge. What the fuck? What the? F okay. Let's do this again. Okay. Right. You get a randomized password each time, too, by the way. Random? Why is it random? I don't know. Look at this. I know something. I can stab things. Let me guess. I'm supposed to go in the first dungeon, aren't I? I'm not going to waste my time running around. Crap. What the fuck? That makes no Dragon. sense! <laughs> Dragon lit your ass on fire and you had no control. Jesus, Mars! What? what the fuck? Oh my gosh! This is ridiculous. Who lit my ass on fire? The dragon. What dragon? I that dragon. 
That, that's a slime. That's a dragon. Well, my days are not taking you seriously. They're certainly coming to a middle. You didn't see the dragon? Chris, how many times do you gotta hit balls? Huh. Are you are you kidding me? You get hit, you get knocked down. Come on, don't bullshit me. Every time. Mm-hmm. Well, there goes my power up. I don't even know if it was a power up. Mm-hmm. God dang it, Bobby! What the crap? Where's this dragon coming from? Why am I getting knocked back so like far? It makes no sense. And Watch I've out! There's a little whelp up there. Everything. There's a little whelp above your head. He's a little fire breather too. This is dumb. Watch out, Cobra! Oh, I beat a snake. Which way should I go? Just pick one. Way. I don't know. The crap. I hate that. I can only shoot one mm -hmm. at a time. Oh my gosh. At least I can shoot diagonal. That's kind of cool. Yeah, if I can hit something. It's like ants running around. Not that. Wait, I don't get anything for beating all that? What type of reward is this? This game punishes you that much? This is depressing. So yeah, this well, is an empty room of nothing. Yep. Why they come here? To die. Just to die. What the hell's okay? Get away from me. Oh uh, well, yeah. You, uh, the spinning dildo. There is no bathroom. Freaking run around like I wouldn't call it a dildo. It looks like something. What the hell? You hit the bats and they threw you out. So you walk in a room and you get hit instantly and die? Yep. And then just destroys me. Just like that. Why? Why? Whoa. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know if I can handle this. For your health. You know, you know what? I don't... The logic of this game would make a lot of sense if you can do things that was proper in this game. But nothing here works properly because yet yeah, you could throw a dagger on the screen. It seems like the capabilities of you throwing daggers constantly on a constant basis doesn't get you very far. But yeah, if you walk through a fucking, if you walk into an enemy or an enemy attacks you, you get knocked back so freaking hard that you get knocked off the stage, or you get knocked off into a different room, or let's say you want to go into another room and just to fight enemies and you can't because I'm sitting here throwing daggers. But Guess what happens? You get hit. You take damage. You're going to die as soon as you walk in a stupid room. The 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 mathematics of proper capabilities of designing this game was flawed. And maybe developers are like, "Oh, this is gonna be an extra hard stage because they made it super far in this game." Well, guess 
this is what they get. If they walk in the room, they're gonna get attacked by bats. Too the frustrating part is that it's stupid and and, 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 and it's nonsense that you'd put somebody through something like that and they God, remember, you pay that much money for this game and you dish out as much as you can for this thing and this is how you get treated towards the end of it as you're playing through it because you're just like, well, I'm just like cool night guy. I throw blades. I don't have a sword. Why? You know, like, who didn't have a sword back in the day? You know, it makes no sense. No, I throw one knife at a time. One knife oh, at a time on the screen because that's all it can handle. And guess what? You walk into a room full of enemies, you're fucking fucked. You are fucked beyond belief. You were you were taking it so hard, and you get hit back. So f why is there so much hit damage that you get knocked back? There's beyond belief knockback damage in this game, where you get knocked back and you can die from it, and you can fall back to the beginning of the whole game. And if you get knocked back so hard, you die. You, you're just dead. The not it's like every it's like it's like let's take a human and have him face a whole bunch of our main enemies in TCT Comics. There you go. You're fucked. That that's your life. And all this is bats and slimes and little fucking worms crowd around the ground and fireballs that come out of nowhere, which makes no sense. Somehow there's a dragon somewhere, and I didn't see the damn thing. But no, it's shoot fireballs up, up who knows where through this freaking tower of crap. Well, you want to know this game, this game is horrible. It's it's a it, oh, it's a rock. It's a slap in the face towards like adventure style, like great dungeon thrillers of of action adventures, like. You think about games like back in the day, you know, it's one of the first dungeon thrillers. You think of Legends of Zelda. Boom. Oh, great game. You know, run through dungeons and stuff like that. What, what does Link do? Beats the crap out of everything with his awesome, you know, sword. And just, does, does he just stop after he throws one dagger? No, oh, he has to wait till a new one generates or something like that. Well, that's not the worst part of it. There's more. People are still trying to find the end to this game. Why do you mock us at every turn? What's your score? Balls. Really? Yeah. But it's crap. I this game sucks, dude. This game's horrible. Okay, on three, we're both gonna say it. One, two, three. Balls. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh yeah, that's our new icon for it. Balls! Balls! <laughs> Unbelievable. We, we have an official icon for such a horrible game. <laughs> this hurts my soul of nonsense and I don't even understand why or Yep. This happened. Or how it, it, here today. We were the consumers. <laughs> and we know where to stay clear. You will never get this. Away from this crap. I'll tell you that. This is just, this is horse shit on a, mm. a like a cliffhanger. You know, you, you're watching like literally like a bungee rope attached to like. You're not sack? No goat cheese. It's waiting to slap somebody in the face right before it's about the set sediment into proper cheese. One end is attached to your nuts, while the other one is attached to the horse. I mean, it's nuts. This, this is bad. This is terrible. 
<laughs> All right, core fans. Wow. Yep. There we go. Another horrible game down. Only, what, 11 more to go? 11 more to go. <laughs> Dang it, Bobby. <sighs> one day, Diedrich, one day. You versus me. Mortal Kombat, dude. Yep. I am seeking my revenge on you. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I'm fine with that, but this is fun in the meantime. Great. 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 Absolutely fine. Well, oh, more rage. More anger. Ah, the fuel of the fire is kicking in. I'm telling you of this purple crap that just drips the down from the ceiling. But where, where does this come from? <laughs> That's it. Balls. Terrible games. That just never ends. I can't believe this. Why is this happening to me right now? It makes no sense. Anyway, core fans. This is Zeo along with Beatrix 111. And remember, core fans, stay strong, live on, and be kind to one another, and keep on gaming. We'll see you next week. Oh boy, we will. <laughs> this is not over with. Nope.